Here I am in Walnut, Iowa, on the far western part of the state, the great wrestling state. I'm here with my good friend Raul Ramirez from the Catch Wrestling Alliance. Raul and I have already visited the gravesite of Frank Gotch and Farmer Burns. Kern Jacobs was with us on both of those occasions. We wish Kern could be with us here tonight. But he's got a pretty big engagement himself, a catch wrestling tournament in New Jersey tomorrow. So here we are standing in front of the grave of Earl Caddock, three-time AAU national champion, never defeated as an amateur, 57-0, and 0, was preparing for the 1916 Olympics. World War I canceled the Olympic Games. Frank Gotch talked him into turning professional, and he beat the great Joe Stecker in Omaha in 1917 in front of a huge crowd to become the heavyweight champion of the world. Earl only weighed 186 pounds at the time. He was everything you'd want out of a, an American. He was a soldier in World War I. He suffered lung damage from mustard gas along the Western Front. He came back to his hometown of Walnut where he'd married the local school teacher and he built a, a business here. We stopped by and saw the business shop a little bit earlier. It's now an antique mall. He raised three boys and a daughter. One of his sons is buried right behind him, uh, a casualty of World War II. But here we are paying tribute to one of the greatest catch wrestlers of all time, Earl Caddock.